Well, good morning. Uh, this is the first week in September at the start of the new academic year. And here I am at uh, Walls Court Farm Academy, which is the newest uh, school to join the Cabot Learning Federation. Uh, a beautiful new build, uh, ready for our 54-year-old children who will start next week uh, at the beginning of their education journey um, in the CLF. Uh, at the beginning of a really exciting project. This is a new school for a new community in the Stoke Gifford, Cheswick Village area, uh, just behind the University of the West of England in Bristol. Um, and I'm in the space that is the reception area learning zone. Um, this part of the building is finished uh, and we look forward to opening our doors to the children next week uh, and the rest of the school being finished later in the year. Uh, and when the school is full, it will be a 420 place primary school um, serving this really new and vibrant community. So the summer has, uh, has been a busy one, uh, as it always is. Uh, I want to start by congratulating the staff and the students on the exam results that were achieved this year. Our A-level results in the Federation uh, were the best results that we've achieved for Year 13. Um, certainly the best we've achieved since we set up our collaborative sixth form. Um, and we now have enrolled our new Year 12s and have over 570 students in the post-16, which is terrific. Uh, because whilst the participation age is raised, we wanted to make sure that the curriculum offer we had for the young people was the right one. So I think we've worked very hard as a team to do that. And I'm looking forward to building upon the success that we've seen for our Year 12s last summer as they go into Year 13s um, and the new intake that will come in from the Year 11 uh, groups in the academies. This year, more students than before uh, have access place at universities, not just in the Bristol and Southwest area, but across the country. And that's really encouraging as children gain more confidence in thinking about applying to a wider range of universities and are achieving A and B grades, which are becoming part of the standard offer that many of the top universities require uh, our, our students to achieve in order to gain that place. We also began, on the day that the GCSE results came out, um, our summer school for our new school direct trainees. We have 26 uh, students who joined us to start their teaching careers, so while I'm here at Walls Court talking about four-year-olds, there's another group of people in the Federation in, who are beginning their career as teachers. Um, and we have a two-week summer programme for them, uh, which gives them as clear an induction as we can and a taster of what they can expect to face when they walk into our classrooms. Uh, 19 of those are secondary trainees, and seven of those are primary trainees, which is the first time that we've done that, but all are school direct, and we've embraced that new scheme as an opportunity to group, recruit people into that program who then go on and take teaching posts within our schools. We also have a new, uh, two new school partnerships uh, that we're working with this year. Uh, the Federation has had a number of partners over the years, some of whom have now joined the Federation's academies and some of whom uh, haven't done that. Uh, but Hannam High School and the Grange School, both in secondary schools in South Gloucestershire, uh, will be working with us uh, for the rest of this academic year and we wel welcome them into our family um, and all of the things that we do together for our own Federation staff and our own Federation students will be extended to the staff and students in the communities of the Grange and Hannon and we've made a good start with those projects. We've been working hard over the summer to set that up and they've begun this week and, and things are going really well. So there we are, uh, end of week one of the, of the academic year. Um, lots to do and plenty of things to achieve and plenty of successes hopefully to build upon. Uh, and I'll report on our progress in two weeks' time. Thank you.